congratulations, Jay and his team. Um, they got a big stretch where they stretched it out. We had a chance to come back, got it closer, and they made a couple of big threes again. Um, 14 threes, that hurts us, but 14 for 40. It's, you can sometimes live with that, but not if you shoot 32% uh, yourself in the second half. We got it to six and uh, take a shot way across from our bench that wasn't a very good shot as clock went down and we B-Rob turned it over driving in the middle and then uh, Armando turned it over trying to throw it to Garrison and Garrison fouled the guy on a three-point shot and all of a sudden it's back to nine. Uh, guys, I ain't got much left. <laughs> Just, you guys ask questions. Let's see what you got. You talking about the one in the second half? Uh, as I said, we got three turnovers in a row and foul a guy shooting the three point shot. That was the biggest part of it. Uh, uh, yeah, it was B. Robert took a shot over on the other side and then he turned it over driving the middle and then Armando turned it over and then Garrison uh, fouled a guy because we were coming back some during that stretch and gotten it to six. And, and don't anybody say anything stupid about me calling a timeout. I wanted to call a timeout and didn't do it. We got five damn shots from three feet from the basket and missed every one of them. I can't draw up a tricky play and get five shots from three feet, so don't get me, don't get me pissed off about a timeout. Is that all right, Luke? <laughs> I wasn't picking on you. How far in advance, like, when did you know that, that uh, both Black and uh, Anthony were going to be out and, and be able to adjust to that? Uh, yesterday morning about 10.30. And at that time, I wasn't sure that uh, Leakey was going to be out. I was... He was probably going to be out, but that, uh, that's when I found out that Cole was definitely going to be out. What were you, what kind of response were you hoping to see from those other guys, and the guys who were going to have to play? Uh, I think I got uh, a decent response. You know, I wanted to play exceptionally hard and try to do the right things. I mean, guys, we're out there trying to play. Uh, I mean, I'm so proud of Jeremiah Francis for trying. I mean, he hadn't played in three years and uh, trying to do those kind of things. KJ hadn't played. Uh, uh, did some things that helps us. Uh, uh, you know, we're going to benefit in the long run from it, but it doesn't make it any more pleasant to go through right now for sure. Armando's been sensational at some times, but uh, just couldn't get the ball to go in the basket. Two for 14, I think it was. Uh, and then, you know, we had some chances even during that stretch where we cut it to six. We had some other opportunities to free throw line. We didn't make it either. Uh, but uh, for the physical part of it, I was pretty well pleased with what I got. I wasn't very pleased with the mental part of it. Uh, just some of the mistakes we made there. They're a hard team to cover, and uh, you know we, I mean, we got uh, 24 shots uh, inside, and just between those first two guys, Armando and Garrison, I think we could have gotten even more. Uh, but uh, 24 shots, uh, those shots that I like them to shoot. You know, a lot of times we'd make 18 today, we made 10. Uh, but that's part of the game too. I have no idea, guys. I'm worrying about them. Where the hell I'm going to have a heart attack? And you know, sprained ankles, not much. I'll get that report later. They'll tell me. When you guys started chipping away, the building did get pretty loud. Do yeah. you have a sense of the building pulling you along the way it once once did? Uh, I'm I'm sure they were great, uh, but uh, but I really don't know. And uh, somebody asked me if I was excited about playing here. I'm excited about playing better. I'll take a even a red barn and go play if we can uh, play better than we have been playing. But uh, I love this place. I've said all the things that I can say. And it, I'm sure there was one time out uh, that I did realize that they were into it. Uh, but uh, it's uh, I've never been beaten by a building. I've never had a building. Uh, well, that's not true, too, because I have seen sometimes where a building puts so much pressure on the other team at a free throw line, it bothers you. But uh, uh, I love the opportunity to play here. But uh, uh, I'll play in a damn red forest if we play better and be a lot happier. Just got to get better. Felt more. Basically, you got to be tough enough to make shots. And if you make them in practice, you got to be able to make them games. And so uh, that's the mental side of the game. And um, I like guys shooting the ball when they're open. But the quality of our shots, uh, uh, we took two real bad ones in a row in there. And come on, you know, if we're trying to, the quality of our shots got to be better than the quality of the other team's shots. But yeah, it's the. Uh, um, Probably the lowest percentage team by far that I've ever had in 32 years and five years of high school and eight years as a JV coach and all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is you got to make shots. And uh, um, you can try to give them confidence, but you know how you get confidence? Make a dead gum shot. <laughs>